demo a lot because it's a great visual representation of what happens when you wire four similar objects in series versus parallel. So here on the right, we have, we have four 60 watt light bulbs and they are uh, wired up in parallel. Um, we have the same six, four 60 watt light bulbs over on the left hand side here, wired in series, okay? So we learned that when you um, have four resistors in series here, that their resistance simply adds together. So the resistance here is four times the resistance of an individual light bulb. But in parallel, the resistance is much lower. Um, one over R plus one over R plus one over R plus one over R equals one over REQ. And there REQ is small, then small, much smaller than this one. And so we can see that visually when we turn it on. This, uh, this bulb, set of bulbs is very bright because the resistance is low, so lots of current is going through those light bulbs, making these light bulbs very bright. Here, the resistance is fairly high, so there's a only a little bit of current going through there, so these bulbs are much dimmer. So whenever you have something, um, old-fashioned Christmas lights, for example, were always wired in series, so if one bulb went out, all the bulbs went out, go, would go out. Modern strings of lights, Christmas lights, are wired like this, so if one bulb goes out, the others continue to shine.